Hey guys, what's going on? Duffking56 here, back at the Historia Crux. Oh yes, the Historia Crux. This is Final Fantasy XIII 2. We are here to continue our Let's Play. Welcome, welcome back. Today, we are going to have a actually a fairly jam-packed episode full of things to do, places to see, and fragments to grab. So, hang on to your seats, strap in, buckle up. It's time to have ourselves a good time here. So, how are we going to do that? We are going to start off by going to Erba 200 AF. Because let me tell you, I spent about an hour looking for the last wild artifact, thinking that I got the one in Ereba 200 AF, but I didn't have the Moogle throw by then, I don't think. So, I have it now, and now I will show you exactly where it was. It is a hidden little bugger. It's probably just as bad as one of those items in the Augusta Tower 200. That was pretty bad as well. But this one, this one pretty much takes the cake, in my opinion, that is. It's pretty well hidden, I'll show you right here. It's going to be on the side of, of the big house near the large tree here. And as, as soon as I turn around, you're going to be like, where the hell is it? Oh, no, no, no. Let me just... Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that! Isn't that hidden or what, man? You sweep across, you're like, I don't see shit. And then you don't see it at all. But anyways, there's our last wild fragment. That is the 10th out of the 10th wild fragment. That 10 wild fragments, artifacts that you have to get. Jeez. I keep flipping around the names, it's okay though. We finally have completed the long-awaited task that will allow us to access every single area in the game. So I want to show you that we got our last wild artifact. Now we are going to go back, and I believe we are going to take a nice little trip into the Archill Step, of course, I believe. We have a one place to go, actually. But I'm not actually going to be fighting Yomi until after I probably do all this, as well as turn in some other things, so... You'll have to look out for that. I will probably attempt, at least attempt, to kill both of the final two legendaries before I go out and try to finish the main storyline, which we haven't done yet, obviously. We still have some storyline to go. But what am I doing in the Archil step, you might ask? I'm opening the uh, second last gate, actually. We are going to, into the Vile Peaks areas. And the Vile Peaks is actually a really, really cool story. And it's a sort of a sub-story that Lightning actually will narrate. And you'll see there's a lot of homages to her and it's going to be a lot of fun, and I believe there's nine fragments total to grab here, so definitely we are not going to be short on the amount of fragments we have here. As you can see, it's still stormy from when I was screwing around <laughs> and trying to still get our um, our Yomi fight and all that. I think I will tally back to the Nomad camp. I'm not exactly going to grab a Chocobo. I do have my encounters on le less monsters, so I'm not really worrying about monsters but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a nice little trek out to the back left area of here to open our gate i'm not sure actually if the gate is shrouded in this situation by darkness i can't tell from here and it'll be it would kind of suck obviously if it was but i don't see it shrouded by darkness here so that means i think we are okay to open it up here we have some seeth that we don't really need to fight here they're really easy pushovers i don't have an issue with them so as you can see, we're going to go all the way out here, and it is not shrouded by darkness, which is nice. We can open up this gate, get the hell out of here. I believe when it's shrouded by darkness, you can't actually open it up, and that actually happens in different weather conditions in this game. So, it kind of sucks, I know. Uh, why is there a large red monster over here? I'm not sure. I believe that is consisting of Yomi here. I'm going to fight this Varkalachi just because he's right up in our face. Well, these Varkalachi, I should say, because they're right up in our face here. They're actually probably going to take down our Chocobo actually fairly aptly. They're very good at that. They also cast Miasma. Wow, that was a really loud controller vibration. And that will poison other party members, which really sucks. But you can do your best to take them out here. I'm going to let Sarah go down just a little bit more before they start spamming Miasma on everybody. And now I'm going to finally switch to my dual medic commando class here. As you can see, we're going to be casting Isuna among other things. And we're going to get our, hopefully our Odin here will do a little bit more damage to these guys since he does sort of ignore armor, which is great. But we're going to get some cures off before we actually do anything else. Because these guys are just as tough as they are, pretty weak. So it's kind of actually an interesting little mix there. These guys are like glass cannons, if you will. I switch right back to our medic medic commando class here maybe we'll get to raise our odin here thank you Noel, for casting the same spell that i'm doing and maybe our odin will be able to hold some actual damage on these guys as you can see but we're going to be back here now we have our dual ravagers we'll be able to take out these guys fairly easily what kind of sucks though is even with our preemptive strike we are just not quite there where we can just knock them over like a bunch of bowling pins but that's okay we're actually 
you know, fairly close to that gate. I don't expect to have any more monster encounters. I was just worrying they were going to attack us from behind. We weren't going to get our preemptive strike. But we're good now. 800 sort of CP there. We can throw up into our characters, which is great. And we're going to be back here and see what we can do. Open this gate up and get into the Vile Peaks. As you can see, broke the seal. That's what uh, changing the weather does. And I don't know why Sarah had to turn to us and tell us that, but I guess she did. Let's let's open up this gate here. We're going to use our second last wild artifact, which is great. I'm so excited, and hopefully you guys will enjoy this little sub story. I, I really think you will like it, especially all the lightning fans out there that I know enjoyed this series. So without further ado, I give you the vile peaks. 200 AF. Is this the one that we actually want to go to yet? Not actually quite yet. That's okay. We opened up the gate, though, and that's really all we needed to do. We're not really wasting much time here. But I do want to go back to Academia 4 X here because I want to actually go to the Vile Peaks other area first. I'm not going to tell you the time period because, I mean, that would be spoilers. And blatant spoilers are not very nice. So what I can do, though, is show you exactly what we need to do here. And that is the other, our last gate to open officially with wild artifacts is right on the side by all those cars and the shop parked over there that you needed the advanced Moogle hunt for. If you can remember way, way, way back in your minds when I was back here, but this will give us our other vile peaks area. It's kind of weird because I've been playing for this game. I've had this game on for two hours and I've loaded academia four double X already. It's still such a long loading period, man. My Xbox need a, needs a solid state drive. If you know what I mean, all you PC guys out there. But anyways, we are, Ready to get out of here. See what we can do. I think I went the wrong way, actually. But I think I can also salvage it by just sort of curling around to my side here. Yeah, it kind of looks like I went the wrong way, which is shitty. But we can get out of here. I think this is a circle. Is it not? It, oh, it is a way out, which is good. So hurry up, Sarah. We have things to do in this area. Among other things, of course, I don't, I love saying that phrase for some reason. It's just so comfy for me to say, I guess. I don't know. I'm like ambling around here. Yeah, this is all useless to me. Actually, I think I can go this way. And wait a sec, wait a second. Turn around, Sarah. I, I don't want you to keep running into walls. <laughs> you might need some help if that's the case, Sarah. But let's see if we can hop onto the conveyor belt area. Oh, perfect. It's going to be right over here to our middle. We'll be able to take a quick walk out here. I, th I find it kind of useless that they have chocobos in this level with speedy conveyor belts because, I mean, obviously the novelty of chocobos are great, but it's kind of weird to have them hopping around on conveyor belts near a lot of people. You think chocobos are like these wild animals, even though you can tame, tame them, but you don't expect them to, to just be around here and just be in existence. So, I don't know. I always found that kind of an interesting little aspect here. Now, what we actually have to do is travel... I don't think this is the gate that we want. So what I'm actually going to do is get off behind us here. And then go back this way. What was Noel doing? Noel wasn't even following us there. There's some party members I have, man. That's... You suck, Noel. Actually, not really. You're fine, but you should probably follow me from now on out. Don't want you to get left behind. Don't want you to get lost. And our gate is going to be coming up here on our... I believe it's on our left, correct? I think so, yes no yes here it is all right great we can get into this last gate here let's unlock the gate let's get into the other vile peaks area we're going to use our last wild fragment should be good though because now we have everything unlocked that isn't past this part of the game which is great we can finally get into the vile peaks that we actually want to and start this side quest sub story and i'll explain to you why we need to go into this one in the first place but man we got nine fragments to grab here which will bring our total up to a whopping 122 which is awesome I love it. Let's get a nice little description of the Vile Peaks 10 AF. The Vile Peaks, found in the lowlands of Cocoon, became the site of a substantial space-time distortion in the year 10 AF. The team the Academy sent to investigate this disturbance was known as the Blitz Squadron, an elite unit trained to deal with paradox-related incidents. For these veteran agents, it should have been just another routine mission another routine mission a eh? well this definitely should be interesting if you have been paying attention into the window it is spoiling a little bit about what we're actually going to be doing here but you know what that is just quite all right to me we're good to go let's see what the vile peaks will hold for us 
Probably some powerful monsters. Probably the four fragments that we need. And some pretty, actually. Some actually some pretty interesting things, I do have to say. Definitely plenty to go here. And of course, we need to figure out about the Blitz Squadron. But of course, we will do that all in good time once this map loads, damn it! Yeesh! I mean, I actually even have this game installed on my hard drive. Scale distortion was observed in the Vile Peaks, a land filled with ancient debris. The Academy dispatched Blitz Squadron, an investigative unit, to check the area. The Elite Academy force armed themselves with anti-paradox weapons. Their mission was simple, to find out just what was causing this spatial distortion. However, the airship carrying the crew disappeared within the clouds moving over the Vile Peaks. That day, six elite soldiers vanished without a trace. And it was my fault. I was responsible. What is this place? Looks like a dumping ground. The vile peaks. Boo -boo. You know, Lightning told me she came here on a mission once. So your sister's been here too. I bet that's no coincidence. And here we are in the Vile Peaks, as you can see. We do not quite have a map yet. Another snowy area, which I do really prefer. And we have ourselves our first hidden treasure chest. So, of course, we need to get our treasure. Please and thank you. Come here, Mog. I have a job for you to do. What is this treasure, actually? What? What is this? What is it? I said that like three times in a row, by the way. I just thought you would enjoy that. We got some Vitality Bolts. I love my monster materials. There is another chest up here but i'm guessing this might actually be a mog what do you want oh you want me to check over here sure thing mog i don't know what this is actually going to be is this going to be the beginning of her quest oh it looks like it. let's talk to this guy i mean he's probably dead but let's talk to him the man we encountered was an elite member of the blitz squadron they called him baxter he was wounded from head to toe but miraculously, none of his wounds were fatal. The airship that was carrying these Academy soldiers was attacked by a dark shadow in the sky before it crashed to the ground. It's a miracle they survived this horrible accident. The airship went up in flames. I don't know if they ever survived. But I do remember one thing. After the crash, I saw that our pilot Ray was still breathing. He must have wandered off somewhere. The Vile Peaks 10 AF. The Elite Academy Unit Blitz Squadron has gone missing. One of the men, Baxter, is trapped in a space-time rift. He tells Nolan Sarah that his comrades are surely alive, including the pilot Ray. If Baxter's info is correct, you have a chance to rescue the entire Blitz Squadron. The only problem is the Paradox has probably scattered the men up and down the timeline, which is why we have the other Vile Peaks, but let, let's find the other survivors with Ray's last light here, the fragment. We'll accept the mission. Would you mind looking for my friends? I know this area is dangerous, but it will mean a great deal to me. Here's a map of the area. Take it with you. Well, shit, Baxter. Thank you very much for the map. It's very much appreciated at the same time. So as you can see, we got our first fragment out of four here. We got to find three other people, probably, and the other two will be in the other area. Let's get this treasure chest just to be certain that we've gotten everything we got ourselves an easy phoenix down we're going to see a couple of different monsters in this area they're going to be really easy and you actually need to get 100 percent in this to get one of the fragments in one of the other academias and this will be definitely interesting i love the side story you know why though it's because it is so interesting to me because it's basically replaying one of lightning's missions oh crap come here no come here what do you stop stop it there we go jeez the hell are we fighting here? Let's see what we got here. Oh yes, Yakinjis. These guys are I'm sorry, Yakshinis, I believe. These guys actually we want in our party, so I'm gonna do my best to try to capture them. As you can see, they just destroy you with buffs and debuffs, which is kind of really cool. And, and they're gonna be vital to some fights that we're gonna have in the future. So if I can help it, I really do want to get them in my party, as I said before. They're gonna help us in the Yomi fight, I believe, is the one that I was really missing them on because of some of the buffs and debuffs that they help throw out for you but as you can see they're pretty interesting monsters they run really damn fast which is fine definitely fine but as i was saying before you're pretty much like replaying lightning's footsteps here and it's 
you never actually get to play much of her, obviously, in this game, but it's so cool to retrace what the hell she's doing. And it is, to me at least, it's extremely interesting. And it's all the more engrossing when you get an opportunity like that. Mm -hmm. 